Uh, have you always lived here in Rome? No. Okay. So how did your family end up here? We retired here. Okay. Was there something that really drew you to the area? Or? It's just so pretty out here. <laughs> it's just so pretty out here. Well, very cool. Very cool. Um, so right now, I currently rent my home. Um, it's a single family home. It's brick. Would you mind um, tell a little bit about what type of home that you live in? I, it's a ranch style wood frame house on half an acre. Okay. All right. Very good. And now you, you own your home. Yes. Right. Okay. Do you have an idea of um, the date that you guys have approximately moved in your home? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, February of 2005. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Um, so. Because I retired January of 2005. That's how oh, I so, yeah. <laughs> so you moved here pretty quickly after oh, yeah. you retired. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um. So, you are a homeowner. Uh, do you have rooftop solar for your home currently? No, no you do not. Uh, would you mind telling me why you do not have rooftop solar? Did you make that, make that decision, or was that decision made for you? Uh, one is uh, the advancement of technology. I'm kind of waiting to, to, make, to get the most out of it. it. It is an expense that takes a while to regain. And my house is not really situated in in an orientation that would uh, recuperate as much sunlight. Okay, okay. Um, so if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? I would. I would certainly look into it. Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. So you would definitely look into it. So what we have here now is I'm going to give you a map, and on this map, what I would like for you to do is um, we're going to talk a little about just rooftop solar adoption in the United States. If you wouldn't mind, um, tell me where you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on, on their homes. So if you could just kind of draw that on their map, where you think they have the most roof, rooftop solar? Florida, Florida, Texas, California, maybe Arizona. There's not a whole lot in New Mexico, but... They don't get enough direct sunlight. I'm not sure about the water. Okay. Okay. So you've got a, you've got some a lot of places there, which is great. That is great. Um, so why do you think that people here have the most solar on their rooftops? Uh, mainly because the uh, uh, number of sunny days uh, and the uh, closer. To warmer, longer hours of sun, uh, of sunlight. Um, there's very little change in the seasons as far as length of day goes, mm -hmm. like in Florida, uh, compared to the length of day in, in Washington. Washington has a tremendous amount of rain. Of course, the eastern part or the western part, the eastern part. Uh, but again, you run into uh, it's so dark in the winter time. Right. Okay. So more hours of sunlight would be... Okay. Gotcha. Good. Okay. Let's see. So now we're going to kind of talk a little bit about Georgia. Okay. So there's a map of Georgia here. Um, oh, one of the questions that I was going to ask. So, so, and I can't remember if I said it just right. So I guess I did ask why do you think people here have the most solar? Um, but also, what do you think makes these people different from the people that live here in Georgia? Well... A lot of it is people in these in these states. A lot of people are not native to those the particular states. You have a lot of people move in from other areas okay. and um, bringing in uh, a lot more uh, variety, difference, different ideas, um, and uh, a little maybe a little more open to uh, utilizing. If you spent any time in South Florida, you know you have a lot of sunshine. Yeah. You have a lot of sunny days. Uh, so I think it's an, an attitude toward um, uh, the viability of it. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk a little bit about Georgia here. Um, so on this map, in what community um, in the state do you think that people have the most uh, solar on their homes? And it can be certain areas, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific um, county per se. It can be different areas, whatever you, you feel. 
Well, I do know that in Floyd County, we have fields of solar arrays. Um, and uh, since they take up so much space, you would want to, thinking of them being in more rural, open country areas. So, um, yeah, I might think, um, you know, basically, you know, the Piedmont swath, swath you got too much swamp down here to put them um, and probably more around the metropolitan areas as far as on homes rooftop solar but I can't think of any that would stand out as being uh, I'm sure there it, statistically someone is the most but I can't think of anybody who would stand out right, as the most. right. okay but you've got a few areas marked there so in those areas kind of that that you you've got marked there um, what do you think makes those people from the areas that you have identified there so different from people in Floyd County? But you've also kind of got Floyd County marked there as well. Um, so let's let's just say, tell me why you think people here in Floyd County have the most solar. Mm-hmm. Why do you think? Why do you think we have the most here in Floyd County? Um, because if you're not into trees. <laughs> You have open land that uh, you may have more trouble farming. Okay. Um, you know, do, just due to the terrain, things like that, um, and be able to put them in areas where you may have underutilized your uh, farmland. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, in in these other areas that you've kind of marked here, what do you think? What makes those people different than here in Floyd County? Well, it's kind of like cell towers were, you know, uh, because once you get a cell tower on your property, Mm -hmm. you know, you you have constant income of that. And uh, the the farmers down in this area, they get a lot of sunshine, and um, there's a lot of open farmland that wouldn't really have to be manipulated to make uh, arrays. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, And... um, but as far as rooftop goes, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't really speak. I, I'm thinking more in bigger arrays. Okay. That's, that's totally fine. Um, so we've got one more one more question for you. Um, what about your close friends here in Georgia? Did they have solar on their roof? No. Not in here in Georgia, but in Florida, a lot of people, family included, have solar heaters for their water, for their pools. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, why do you think they, they don't here in Georgia, as far as your close group of friends that you have? I don't know. Some may just not want to be bothered. Some may think it's more hassle than it's worth. It's, it's a, it may be more maintenance than they, they think it's more maintenance than maybe what it would be. Um, they don't understand necessarily how it works and how it can benefit you personally. I think we see more smaller applications of it, like for lighting, Mm -hmm. like down a lane or a gate, an automatic gate, things like that. So I think people are putting solar energy to use, but not thinking of it as putting to use on top of your house. Right, right. Um... And so you, you did mention earlier that you had some family in, uh, in Florida that, that used it for their pool. So um, do you think, so So what I'm hearing, are they just more, I guess, um, more open to that? Or they have, um, or it's something that's more familiar in that area? It, it, pay, it, it pays back. Gotcha. And it's pretty consistent in, um, you know, you really have to supplement it. Even in the wintertime, you really don't have to supplement it with uh, outside electricity. Uh, and it's a, uh, something that's been in practice for many years. So mm-hmm. when somebody puts in a pool, they just normally think of putting in uh, a solar water. Heater. Right, it's just something that's already pretty established. That, mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Well, Jenny, is there anything else you would like to add about rooftop solar? Outside of that they need a, a test house... There you go. There's your way to get it.